Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you want to be notified of new videos that I post on this channel, please subscribe to this channel right away. In this video, you will discover a useful free app to compress photos for your PowerPoint slides. These days, it has become quite imperative to use high quality stock photos on your PowerPoint presentation slides. The problem, however, is most of the stock photo sites carry images that are significantly large. The reason is the stock photo sites primarily cater to the needs of photographers who require photos in great detail, which also means that the photos will be fairly large. When you use such large photos on your PowerPoint slides, you will notice that your PowerPoint files end up getting bloated up significantly. Second, when you show those presentations on a boardroom, you will realize that your laptop struggles to perform because of the size of the pictures and size of the file. Now, how do you avoid those issues? How do you ensure that the pictures that you use on your PowerPoint slides are of reasonable size and not of those humongous sizes of around 18.4 MB or 20 MB? I'm going to show you a useful free app that compresses photos in a significant way without much loss in quality. Now take a look at this photo. This is the original photo and the size of this is around 9.4 MB. Now this is the compressed version and this one is around 1.3 MB. Now there is not much of a significant difference in terms of the quality of the images but then the size is significantly different. So I'm going to show you a place where you can go to to get your images compressed. And this is the site and uh, this is the URL of the site, compressimage.toolur.com. I'm going to take you to that site right now. This is the site. Let us do a quick experimentation by uploading one of the images that I have got already on my desktop. And this is a fairly large image that I downloaded from one of the stock photo sites. And you would see that you have the option to upload multiple images and compress them in batches. And you also have multiple compression methods. A is of the highest level of compression. The quality also suffers when you do A level of compression. G is lossless compression. The size reduction is also not significantly large. So that is the range that you have around here. Now I prefer C where the compression method is reasonably significant but the image quality is retained at 90%. Now let us go to compress images option because we have already uploaded the image. And when I do that you will have to wait for a few seconds and now you see that the image originally was of 9.5 MB in size. Now with 90% image quality, the size has got reduced to 1.2 MB. As you can see, it is a significant reduction in the size without much reduction in the quality. I accidentally discovered this useful site. It is completely free. So please go here and use it a couple of times and see the results for yourself. Now, what you saw was just one example of working with PowerPoint efficiently. If you want a structured program that allows you to master PowerPoint, then you need to enroll to Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. The program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online and you get instant access to 650 plus step-by-step -step video tutorials, more than 225 text-based lessons, and 400 plus downloadable files as soon as you join PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. This program can change the way you create your PowerPoint presentations forever. And one more thing, if you are someone who is interested in having your PowerPoint slides creative and interesting, then please join our free snackable PowerPoint course. It is a useful email course with 10 super short emails with step-by-step -step video tutorials that teach you creative techniques that you can use in your next presentation. You can join the snackable PowerPoint course by clicking on the link here. So please click here and I will see you inside the Snackable PowerPoint course.